Uh, finally, this week also marked five years since Libya's long-time leader, Muammar Gaddafi, was deposed and killed. He was overthrown after ruling the country for 42 years by rebels during the Arab Spring. Muammar Gaddafi must leave. Your friends in Britain and in France will stand with you as you build your democracy. We came, we saw, and he died. This marks the end of a long and painful chapter for the people of Libya. Hillary's huge uh, Libya disaster. 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 Libya is in chaos. Anarchy, political and military vacuum. Jihad is wonderland. Death, displacement and destruction. Is it fair to say Libya was better off under Gaddafi? Wow. Huh. Unconfirmed. Unconfirmed. The Arab Spring began in 2011 in Tunisia, but quickly spread to other countries. Libya's unrest broke out in the city of Benghazi, a hotbed of opposition. Government forces brutally oppressed demonstrators there, rapidly fueling nationwide chaos. RT host Sunny Sanawi was in Libya shortly after Gaddafi's death. Uh, death. Please be warned, though, some of the video you're about to see does contain upsetting images. I think that at that point, the... It was very clear geopolitically that either he would come out completely on top or he would be killed. <laughs> when we got to the border, there were the rebels. Rebels had taken over the border completely um, with their Kalashnikovs. They were a little hesitant because I'm an American, so I had an American passport and I was with a Russian cameraman. And to them, that just didn't make sense. The Americans and the Russians should not be working together. <laughs> Tripoli was celebratory, celebratory with gunfire, nonstop for three days. <laughs> but there was still this heavy cloud over the city. I, I almost can't put it into words. And I remember being on uh, what was then already called Green Square and having this young little boy come up to me. He wasn't that young. He was about 12 years old. And his English was quite good. And him saying to me, they're celebrating. <laughs> but people at home are crying. And they're terrified to share how they feel. You've been watching the weekly here on RT. I'll be back with more news for you in about a half an hour's time. Up next, though, a report on the plight of Christians in Egypt.